I'm, I'm losing grip. Understood. Can you box next lap, Casper? Box next lap. No. I need to come in now. It's quite bad. We've got Aiden coming in now. Just hold out one more lap, please, Casper. Isn't he a lap down? Yes, he's uh, on a different strategy, though. Haven't I got priority? He's boxing now. Please hold off, Casper. Fine. Nope. I'm all over the place here. I'm coming in now. Must have been pretty urgent for Aiden, eh? Please be patient, Casper. There's another place. And another. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, that wasn't ideal. Let's see if you can get a few places back, please, Casper. Come on in. Okay, good work, great pass. The gap to the car ahead is 1.6 seconds. Five laps of fuel remaining. Four laps of fuel remaining. Nice work, that brings you up a place. Our gap to the car in front is 6.9 seconds. OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. An interesting little encounter between Ackerman and Jackson in the pit lane. And might that cause more friction behind the scenes? Ackerman sounded pretty angry on the radio, didn't he? Told to box the next lap, but he came in anyway. That's not the decision of a man thinking clearly. Is he bringing his personal grievances onto the track? I think he could be.
They denied each other a significant number of points last season. And if today's anything to go by, those issues look like continuing. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Congratulations on a tough race today, Casper. To all of us watching, it seemed as if there was some sort of clash in pitting strategy. Can you talk? Well, it's unfortunate, but these things happen. I felt the tires begin to go off and realized I needed to come in. It was a calculated risk. There's not much else to say. I pulled it back and finished the race, so no harm done. So the problem we all witnessed today was a team call and not a sign of continuing tensions again this season between you and Aidan Jackson. Well, I'm not going to lie, as I'm sure it's obvious to everyone here. Aidan and I have never really seen eye to eye, which causes some tension. But we're also professionals, so it shouldn't get in the way of our performance. I'm sure we'll work through it. Why do you ask? Well, you seemed angry on the radio with your team. People are asking if that's an indicator of a deeper... Well, there's nothing to be concerned about. It's just adrenaline. You're in the middle of a race, you get hot. I can't even remember what I said. If it was, you know, colourful, then I'm sure we'll all be laughing about it later. Great. Well, that's everything. I just don't get it. So he gets to pit ahead of me and they give his car the only new power unit last season and he gets to go out behind me in qualifying. <sighs> this kid is a new number one driver. I don't believe that to be true. But then why does he get paid more? You're still upset about that. No. Well, I, I don't know, maybe. I just wish I never found out. It's not the money, though, is it? I'm old. You're not old. Like this again. I, I am old. For a driver, I'm old. Come on. This is your last season. You said you'd make it count. Shh. I still need to tell them. When will you? Soon. Okay. Well... In the meantime, forget about Jackson. Okay. And stop playing the victim. It doesn't suit you. All right, okay. It's Zanvort next, remember? Everyone's gonna be rooting for you. Be the guy they love. And hey. What? Be the guy I love. Well, that's, that's cute. Did you come up with that yourself? I'm a natural born charmer. Mm. Yeah, first album's got nothing on me. You had to ruin it.
Hello and welcome to Zandvoort for another round of Formula One action. Four lefts and ten rights make up the 14 corners of the narrow and demanding Zandvoort circuit, with plenty of peaks and valleys over the course of a 2.6 mile lap, which will demand absolute concentration from our drivers here today. And so here we are, Zandvoort. If there's one thing you can guarantee, it's the incredible atmosphere these Dutch fans provide. The sea of orange shirts as much a part of the Grand Prix as the track itself. Max Verstappen, always a home favourite, but in the midfield, all eyes on Hass's Kasper Ackermann. He'll be looking to turn around a poor patch of form, and what better time to do it than right here, in front of his home crowd. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Leclerc, Sergio Perez and Bottas, Sainz, Ackerman, Fernando Alonso and Daniel Ricciardo, Stroll, Jackson, Esteban Ocon and Vettel, Butler, Russell, Antonio Giovinazzi and Yuki Tsunoda. Gasly and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? The crowd's all behind you today, Cass. Let's use that momentum and see what you can do out there. Nice move. Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. We're going to box this lap, push hard on the in-lap. That was a 
our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. What a race for Kasper Ackerman, proving the naysayers wrong with an emphatic performance. He'll be delighted by that podium finish. Well, we all know he can do it. It's just been a while since he has. Great race from Ackerman and some much needed points for Haas. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. A podium finish today, Casper, here in front of your home crowd. How does it feel? Well, my family is here today, my wife and my daughter, so I'm delighted I was able to have a good race for them. It means the world to have them here. And I, I think I would have been miserable tonight if I didn't have a good race, which wouldn't have been fun for anyone. So yeah, I'm really happy. How is everything at Haas? Our spirit's high. Is the team happy? Yes, of course. We've had a bit of a bumpy start, but we're looking to rectify that, and thankfully we got a lot of races left, so we're looking forward to the season ahead. But the only thing you can ever really focus on is the next race, so that's what I'll be looking to do. Appreciate your time. Hey man, great race today. Thanks. <laughs> nice one, Casper. <laughs> Can't argue with that performance. Shame your teammate couldn't bring himself to congratulate you. No, uh, well, he's just a kid. Well, kid is getting signed by Ferrari. So they say. Never gonna happen. Well? <laughs> you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. I've been approached. Really? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Keep it under your hat, but uh, talks are going well. So you're going to have to get on with Jackson for a little while longer. Yeah, well, we get on fine. That's not what I heard. No? Yeah? I was chatting with one of your mechanics. He had some very interesting things to say about Jackson. You know what his problem is, don't you? Go on. Thinks you're getting too old. Says you're not fast enough anymore. Too old? <laughs> hey, mate, his words, not mine. You want my advice? Prove him wrong. See, he should respect you like I do. Great race out there today, buddy. Yeah? Ciao.
it. Lily's dancing in the garage. It's hilarious. Can you come? Just catching up on a few things. Sure. Hey, I, I booked us a restaurant for tonight. What about Lily? Your mother's happy to take care of her. Great, then I can't wait. Reason to celebrate, right? Yeah. Thanks, so. See you later. Bye. Yeah? Casper, I missed you just now. What do you want? I just wanted to say congratulations for today. That was some race. I'm busy, Aiden. Oh, sure. Um... Bye.